components, and basically this is what it is. This is your fastener, which will be on a length of chain. I shortened this chain here just for this, but these, this chain in the middle will be two feet apart. So, um, and then you've got your linchpin, your other chain here that holds the nut. Now this chain here just acts as a fastener for this nut, otherwise you'd have loose nuts, and you know how that goes, everything just gets lost, right? And so, this won't, there's a chain attached to it. So, it's welded in, chain is welded in, weights the nut, linchpin, and so you'll buy a whole length of this. Basically, this is the part that's the changeable components and the customized components um, to the specifics of your greenhouse, the length of it. So if you've got a 50-foot greenhouse, um, you're going to get a 25-foot length of chain fasteners. Okay, so like I said, this can now go on over any size greenhouse anywhere to any tarp. Okay, so you take your tarp, whatever tarp you have, if it's plastic or if it's uh, the breathable stuff, cool. Um, basically, you take it and you fold it in half on the ground, right? So that essentially it can slide over your greenhouse, right? So then, with the top, you're going to fold over about like three or four inches. And, uh, and it'll just create a flap, right? So you've got your flap, you've got your fastener chain length all set up ready to go you take your nut and what you're going to do is slide it under the flap to the top of that crease right you're going to scrunch it together creating what they call a chicken head so it's got a little neck on it right you're going to take your linchpin it snaps open you're going to slide it over right push that out of the way and flip it down right so that one's done do it again slide that nut all the way up to the crease in the fold Create your little chicken head, pop open that linchpin, that goes over, push that out of the way, snap it down. And there you have it. That is the fastener system, it goes on any tarp. Basically, this nut is larger than the space between this pin and the circle, the outer circle. So, when it snaps forward, shut forward, the force of the pull is against it, locking it in even more. So that's it. You, it attaches any tarp, and you don't punch a hole in it, right? Which is the big thing, right? Holes in your tarp are bad. So, then, you feed this up to the line, the overhead line, which, it's not grommets or some cheap metal slider or whatever. I've used all steel, uh, two-inch pulleys, right? And so it slides so nicely. Um, you've got a screw lock carabiner at the end there. And that is what you will attach your chain and your linchpin right onto there. You'll lock that down. There's that one. This next one, feed it up. Boom. Slide. Easy light up system. Ha. Ah, I know, I'm corny. Corny, corny. Okay, so that's that. I've got some drawings here to just explain the whole system because it's vague in that first video. And it was vague because I... I hadn't quite perfected it, and I wanted some feedback, I wanted to see where it went, you know, uh, I'm a problem solver, I like to experiment, I like to see what works, what doesn't work, um, and until it's perfected, I'm not going to bring you something that's a piece of crap, so, so that's, uh, so the drawings, basically, um, let's see, these are all backwards, I should have done this before, sorry about that, um, So, this is the length of your fastener chains that you're going to get, right? So, you'll get a length of chain custom to the specif specifics of your the length of your greenhouse. We already went through the setup. Um, two foot spacers, steel pulley, two inch steel pulley, linchpin, chain, uh, washer at the bottom. Okay. Then, oh, that's that. Where is that other piece? Okay, this is next, all right? So basically next is gonna be the tension pole line set up, which is um, two 15 foot poles, and then you're gonna have two six foot sleeves. So the 15 foot pole is a two and a half, or two inch steel pole. The sleeve is a six foot, two and a half 
inch uh, steel pole. You'll bang the sleeve into the ground three feet. It's got an extra three feet sticking up. You'll slide your 15 foot pole into that. You're going to attach your, your back uh, tension lines to six foot by one inch pieces of rebar that I've welded um, a chain link at the end of so that you can uh, attach your turnbuckles. So these black things here that you see, those are all nine inch turnbuckles, right? And they're eye and jaw ends because the eye end is for your cable and the jaw end is for the, um, the welded link and for the bolt at the top here. So what that does is creates um, basically a little over seven feet of adjustment. So there are 10 points of adjustment here to taking slack out of your line. Um, so you're not fighting against it. So it's important that you make sure that the turnbuckles are all the way open so that when you put it up, you can adjust that you can adjust that way rather than because if you don't, if they're closed all the way closed and you can't adjust them, when you set your clamps, you'll have to undo your clamps and reset the line with all the turnbuckles open. So make sure that your turnbuckles are all the way open when you set up your lines. Um, and there'll be like detailed instructions and stuff, and these drawings will be included um, in the kit. Um, but yeah, that's basically your setup. With the tension going across here and the tension going back this way, this pole isn't going to move anywhere. As long as it's in the ground, even just a little bit, just the... The law of mathematics, it can't move. Um, so this can be set up anywhere, which is awesome. Um, no, no, no cement footings, no arms or crazy $10,000 greenhouse thingies. All right, there's that. This is the tops of your poles here. So each end should be identical. You're going to have... Your 15 foot pole at the top, I, put, I drill a hole and I put in a four inch um, eye bolt with an eye nut at the end. These are your uh, turnbuckles with the eye end and jaw end. Your cable clamps, you've got to do three cable clamps per every um, end of line. It's, it's a safety thing, you've got to do three. So you'll have, I think, 30 included in the kit. And then you're going to have two um, two of these three inch pulleys and this is for your curtain pull system so I've created basically you pull the rope the rope is going to be hanging down here it's going to come through there and it's going to go and attach to the end of your um, fastener chain and so that you can just pull down here and it'll pull the whole system across the top of your greenhouse right um, so both ends should look identical both end, top ends of your poles uh, I think that goes without saying and then you've got, man, I'm sorry, I should have organized this before. But these are the bases. Like I said, two and a half inch steel pipe, bang it into the ground, three feet, slide the other one in. Your uh, six foot length of rebar with uh, the welded link, and then your jaw end goes into there. Your turnbuckle, like I said, make sure they're open, meaning unscrewed all the way and uh, attach your clamps, and then uh, then you'll go through and you'll adjust and tighten everything so that you, you don't have a big sag in the middle of your, of, your, um, of your line. So from there, we went to already uh, explain sort of the, the tarp stuff, but we'll do that again. Um, so tarp preparation, fold it in half. Fold over a flap. Measure half the width of your greenhouse. Add a foot for overlap. Start your chain at that measurement. End your chain at the other end of that measurement. So on both ends, you should have half the width of your greenhouse plus a foot. In that area, you'll have the four loose fasteners, right? And so what you're going to do is fasten... Put one at the end, and one just the half a distance between the end of your chain and the end fastener, okay? So that is going to be your tarp fastening system. Alright, and that, you just tell me the length of your greenhouse, and I build one to size. We already went over how to, how to, how to work the whole thing, but here it is again. So you're going to set up your length of chain, you're going to slide those nuts right up into the top 
of that uh, fold. And then you're going to scrunch it up, creating a little chicken head. And then you're going to slide the linchpin over it, snap it shut, and move on. Okay, so once that is all set, you're going to want to attach it to your pulleys. So this is what it should look like. You've got your end poles with your tension lines. There should be at least three feet between the main line and the top lip of your greenhouse. Okay? And so, like I said, with these steel pulleys, they've got the removable cotter pin and the disc slides out. So you remove the cotter pin, you slide out the disc, first your line is set up, and then you put on your pulleys. So you put your pulleys on, so you've got your roller pulleys, they're put the pins and the discs back in, um, and it's ready to go. And and from there, you attach, you just feed up your uh, your one by one and clip onto these uh, the steel screw screw lock uh, carabiners um, right onto your linchpin. So then you've got your ta your tarp attached. So then we go into the curtain pull system, which which I created because when you have that um, the end flaps right. If if I was if I was to attach the chain all the way to the end of your tarp, what's going to happen is that it creates basically, because it's a V, right? And it's all the way up there. When you fold over these ends, over the ends of your, of your, uh, of your greenhouse, there's a hole still. See that? There's a hole still right there. And even no matter if you try to clip it or whatever, the wind blows, that hole is bad. It's bad, bad, bad. So, that is why... The flap will hang down, basically, and then you fold over the ends of your tarp. So there's no holes in there. The light getting in there is bad. So what I did with that flap hanging down like that, it makes it a little difficult to get over the lip of, uh, of the greenhouse. So instead, with the pulleys on the ends of your poles, basically, you'll feed the line up through the pulley and then across... And at the end of your chain, there's a little loop. So you feed the rope through that little loop and then through the carabiner that's on this this uh, middle attached fastener. And then you'll tie it onto this carabiner. So basically, when you pull this rope down, this rope cinches right up to the top of this chain and then it starts pulling all the way across. So you do that on both ends. So this is just explaining, tie it onto this carabiner, through this carabiner, through this loop, back to your pulley. Pull it down, this slides up. Pulls right across. So there it is. That is uh, the light depth system. Um, and like I said, it can fit over pretty much any greenhouse, uh, anywhere. Doesn't take power. If you can pound a T-post, you can pound in those metal sleeves at the end there. Um... um I'll try to look for some, like, pole pounders or whatever, but I just use a piece of 2x4 so you don't waffle, you know, waffle the top of your steel post with a sledgehammer. So just put a 2x4 or a 2x8 or 4x4 four four, um, and just pound that so you don't waffle the ends of your, um, your, your pole. So, yeah, um, the system I got going for $29.90 um, and... So it's the cheapest system out there, $2,990. Kept it under three grand. That was my goal. Try to keep it under three grand. I want it to, to be affordable, all right? I want it to be affordable. I want it to be durable. I want it to be practical. I want it to be simple, easy. So that's what I got for you. Um, and if you got any questions, give me a call, 971-271-3583. Uh, and the website's pretty much going to stay the same just because I don't know how to work it. And I really, I don't have the patience for it right now. Um, so give me a call and we'll go from there. And thanks for checking out the video and leave comments or whatever. If you got any questions, um, I'll check in on it. And, 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 uh, and yeah, have a, have a good, have a good growing season. And thanks for checking this out. All right, peace.